Hello guys, welcome back to some Battlefield 2042. Today, we're going to be talking about update 3.1, which has just released for all platforms. And my, oh my, I have to say, I think this is the best update that DICE have released so far. The game is feeling smoother, my system performance is much higher than it was before, and I just want to say another thing. The reworked manifest map, whether it be Rush or Breakthrough, has to be one of the best maps that I've played so far. I think it was long overdue. We all know that the map design ready from launch was absolutely horrendous. Too many open spaces, not enough cover, not enough like channels for gunfights. It was, it was so disjointed and if you're like me and you like to run around as infantry, it was just a nightmare to be able to get up close and personal with anyone on the battlefield without getting absolutely domed from one side of the map to the other whether it be from air vehicles ground vehicles or so on so update 3.1 brings with it a host of new changes and of course the reworked manifest map and we just got word today that update 3.2 is scheduled to go live some point in january 2023 which is when we'll get the reworked breakaway map as well as some other changes coming as well which is really excited because obviously we've got classes coming back into the game where all the individual specialists are going to be assigned a specific class which is very interesting because a lot of us have called this for a very long time and DICE have talked about it in previous development updates. We are going to be seeing that at some point in a coming season. So this is a really interesting time for Battlefield 2042. Obviously with it being the start of December, we are in the middle of a free-to-play period. In fact, throughout this month, the game is going to be free-to-play across various platforms. So if you've been sat on the fence for 2042, now is the time to get in on the action because the game is looking and feeling better than it's ever done. I never thought I'd be able to say that, but I genuinely think that Battlefield 2042 is worth playing now for those reasons that I've just said. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments. Please let me know what you think of 2042. Have you played the new season yet? Have you played this update? Because it just went live today. I'm really, really curious to hear what you guys think. But for now, I'm going to play a bit more of Update 3.1 and then get ready for Update 3.2 next year. And I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's joined the channel this year from 2042. Despite the game's rocky launch and the entire seasons that we've had so far not being the greatest up until really this season, if I'm being honest. Well, thank you guys so much for all the support. Let's continue that momentum into 2023 and beyond. I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of this reworked Manifest gameplay. I'm going to have another video up on the channel at some point this week with some of my best bits for Manifest, as well as the beastly PBX that I'm using right now. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Nothing fatal. Nothing fatal. Yes. Yes. Ah. Get out. I pity you. Charges planted. Make sure they detonate. 